continue from uh, British Invention Show 2017 and we're talking to Martin who has invented Marksman. Yes. Tell us, what is a Marksman? The Marksman's a product that I invented for marking hole positions. So if you're putting up a shelf bracket, bathroom cabinet, I say you tend to hold the shelf where you want it, get a pencil, sharp it, long skinny point, wiggle it in the hole, doesn't always leave marks, especially on tiles or pebble dash, brickwork. You can, you know, I wanted to be able to make a mark, show me where to drill and be able to see it before I went back up the ladder. Mm. This is the marksman. <laughs> Didn't do a full one. Yeah, you can well see those. So tell me how you actually came to this. What made you invent that kind of device? I was um, fitting a bathroom sink at the time. It was a meter wide, really large bathroom sink in, in a um, house that had a pre tiled um, wall with limestone tiling, beautiful tiling. Um, it already had an existing sink, it, it, so it had a trap outlet which I needed to accurately mark the position from the trap outlet to the hole positions for the sink. So I tried to do it by um, with calculations, getting measurements from the back of the sink. I couldn't get repetitive measurements, it was a metre wide so it was difficult. So I held the sink in position above my head, rather heavy. Above your yeah, head? Above my head, I'm laying down, head against the wall, feet up onto my knees and raised them. I um, got onto my feet at one point, but I'm holding the sink by now. I'm really running out of oxygen in my muscles. I'm getting a bit shaky and out of desperation. I grabbed my tool bag with an aerosol can in it, sprayed the aerosol can into the back of the sink, which echoed the shape of the holes onto the wall. So I put, finally put the sink down, drilled the holes, and mounted the sink. That was the planting of the seed. It wasn't the birth of the idea at that point. I didn't think anything more of it until the next day I was um, fitting a bathroom cabinet to the same room, held the cabinet up into position, I took the door off and, um, and, and held it where I want it and measured it where I want it and I wanted to mark the tiles, wasn't sure that the pencil was the right option and I didn't want to spray the aerosol can into the back because it would now, I can wipe the back of the sink, that's okay, I can't wipe the back of this cabinet, it would ruin it. So, so I ended up um, then that was the seed, that was the birth of the idea. I then thought I would develop something that could mark multiple depths, diameters of holes onto all different surfaces if I could just spray a dot. So I went back home to my garden shed, um, tinkered around for several months <laughs> and produced this um, which is which sprays a burst of chalk okay. through the hole, shows you where to drill. It's a very simple, brilliant idea. Um, from the moment you had the idea to the product here today, how long it has taken for you? Seven years. Seven years. What's been the narrowest, what's the bottleneck where you've gone through? What's been the hardest thing to do to get out to as a product? Um, well, probably, although it was fun doing it, probably the, the actual hardest part to achieve was the idea. That took, in real terms, 30 years of when I first went to the patent office to when I finally went to the patent office with an idea that they said, that's clear, you, you haven't got to challenge anybody, that's going to be a good good patent, so we'll take your money for that one. Um, so that was 30 years. But I hadn't a clue what was involved next. Next meant that I needed to analyse my market, figure out how many I think I would sell, um, it's, it's it's not an easy thing to do because um, I, I can I could I'll briefly describe it with the fluff in the carpet. Um, generally, if I asked you how much fluff is in the carpet, having an engineer in mind, you would work out how much fluff in a square foot and times it by the area of the hallway. What you really need to do is find out when the carpet was laid, look at how many exhibitions they've had on this carpet, where they've been positioned, what type of people come to the exhibition hall, because what type of shows, because some shows, some, you know, like a, a, a building show, they wear hold nail boots, wear it out quicker, some shows there'd be a wedding show and stilettos do a different kind of wear pattern, but if you can look at all of the different wear patterns in that particular carpet, get to the point where you can forecast how much wear is in a certain part of this hallway, go to that part of the hallway, measure the carpet fluff and having if it comes up with the same formula you've proven your formula 
Now, you've, if you've proven that formula, you can now predict the, the, the future, so you can go to somebody with, with, a, with a reason of why you believe you're going to have that many sales in that time. Okay, actually, you've done a research. Uh, okay, today, you, you're out there selling it in uh, various stores? Yeah, we're in yeah. 500 or so stores across the UK. Yeah. We, we are selling abroad, but we're not actively selling abroad at the moment. We, we're still trying to conquer. Yeah, we're, we're still very young as a company. Mm -hmm. um, so, so um, yeah, we, 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 we're, we're looking to go further afield. But at the moment, I'm just, I'm just feeling my feet in the UK. Where we can buy it from? Um, you can buy it in, um, in B and Q, uh, Screwfix Online, mm -hmm. um, Robert Dias, um, Maplin, all major stores. Um, there's loads and loads, yeah. Jusons, lots and lots and lots and lots of shops, yeah, all over the UK, and loads of the independents. Independents are my love. Independent is is so good because if you're trying to fix somebody's house. If you go to an independent, they know the area, they know what type of tile that house might have and where to buy it, you know, whereas your bigger ones might not necessarily know the area as well as an independent. So we're in lots of independents as well. As oh, that's, that's very good. Uh, is that your only brainchild or you have a few more inventions? Um, I don't have any more inventions active. Um, of course, my mind is, is inventive, this, you know. I invent something when I go to the Louvre, you know, I mean, my mind is constantly thinking of ideas and, and, and it's the reason I did it. <laughs> the, I didn't do this for the money or anything, I did this for the most childish reason you could possibly imagine. I did this because when I was a young lad, very young lad, if I came up with an idea and I said it to my parents, they would say, they, they would, it, I would get the right comment, they would say, oh, you're clever, or I like that, or they, I'd get praise, and I like that emotion. Mm -hmm. And to this day, I'm now 52 years old, and I still invent because I like being able to say something to somebody that makes them go, oh. I like to watch the penny drop. I like that <laughs> feeling that it gives me, that it made me feel clever for that moment in time. I felt good. You, you enjoy inventing. That's why I did the invention. Yeah. Thank you, Martin. Thank you very Have much. Have a good day. Thank, Thank you. you. <laughs> Thank you.